Hi guys, today we're gonna learn about the difference between prisms and pyramids. A prism has two identical bases and they are separated by rectangular sides. A pyramid only has one base and because it doesn't have a second base to connect to, they connect together at a point at the top and they come together making triangular sides. We're first of all gonna focus on a rectangular prism. So I'm gonna unfold this rectangular prism like it's a box. It's got a top and a bottom, which we call our base. And the bases have something in common. They both have the same dimensions. This is a six by five base and the top is also a six by five. My front and my back also have the same dimensions. It's six meters by 12 meters. And my sides also have the same dimensions. They are five by 12 on both sides. Sometimes you'll see that the net or can be drawn differently with the bases uh, on opposite sides, but on different pieces, it basically means the same thing. It's fine, that just means that it was unfolded a different way. We also have a triangular prism. Notice that the first word is triangle because it has a triangular base and prism because there are two identical bases separated by rectangles. How many rectangles you ask yourself? Depending upon your base shape. Since a rectangular prism had four sides, it had four rectangles coming off of it. Our triangular prism has three sides for my base shape, so it's gonna have three rectangles coming off of it, okay? That is not the only type of prisms that there are. There are also pentagonal prisms. So a pentagon has five sides. So that means it's going to be have uh, five rectangles connecting the two bases. We've also got a hexagonal prism. It's got hexagon bases, which have six sides, which means we're gonna have six rectangles connecting the two bases. We've got octagonal bases eight sides, which means eight rectangles connecting the bases. Now those aren't all the different types of prisms. Those are just some of the ones that we covered. Notice they can also be drawn sideways like this one that just popped up at the top, just like our triangular prism. So it's really easy for the other ones to see the top versus the bottom. So my hint to you is look for two identical bases that are separated by rectangular sides, which is different than a pyramid. Now. This is a rectangular pyramid. It's called a rectangular pyramid because it's got a rectangle as a base. If I unfold this, I'm gonna draw my rectangle first and I need to draw my triangular sides that connect at a point. How many sides do I have? Well, because my base has four sides, I need four triangles. So four triangles that will fold together and connect at a point. Just as we had different kinds of prisms, we also have different kinds of pyramids. Our next one is called a triangular pyramid. Notice across from the point, there's only one base and that base is a triangle. A triangle has three sides, so there's gonna be three triangles coming off of this pyramid. Again, these aren't the only type of pyramids. That's right, you can use lots of different shapes to form the base of a pyramid. You can use a five-sided pentagon to form a pentagonal pyramid. You can use a six-sided hexagon to form a hexagonal pyramid. As you can see, six sides means you've got six triangles on the sides forming to a, uh, a point at the top. And this octagonal pyramid has eight sides, which means you've got eight triangles forming a point at the top. Now you know the difference between a prism, which has two bases, and a pyramid, which has one base. As you can see, the first part of the name tells you what kind of base it has, and the second part just tells you whether it's a prism or a pyramid. Now you're ready to tackle some problems.